So what has inspired you to create the menu today for... I mean, the idea of the menu was uh, these dishes we're doing at Ibiscus. And because they told us the level of the cooking equipment would be as good as we got at the restaurant, I said, let's do some dishes from the restaurant. And it's been, so far, it's been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We've been having a, a great feedback. It's our first day now. It's been a great feedback. Hi. Hi. And, um, no, no, it's been, it's been really, really, really good. Okay, all the dishes we've got on the menu now are class some of them are classic from Ibiscus. Our dishes just come through, through the season, very, very close to the season. I mean, we, I do believe you have to stay with what's moving at the moment. And uh, going for some different flavor or different things we are not on the season right now, it's too difficult. It's too difficult and you don't get pure flavor of the produce. And that's why we're working on that direction. Okay. What kind of ingredients have in inspired you to create your menu? I mean, I think the season inspires me, that's it. Any ingredients will come at the time, and that, that is an inspiration. After having something, uh, I can't think about the dishes for the winter now until I can start seeing the produce. That's the way I work, that's the way I've been working. Great, so have you enjoyed your experience at the uh, cooking at the queue? Oh yeah, the queue's been fantastic. I mean, I, I had the chance to go to the one in Milan to have a look what they're doing. And the setup there was great, and I'm so pleased I've been part of it. It's been a great experience for us. Great, thank you very much. Okay, we're starting with one of our classic hibiscus with uh, an hibiscus soda in a bottle and a pineapple top. Don't have a zip of the pineapple first and have a shot. It's more like pollinated to 100. Yeah. For the Cornish cup, with a new season uh, girl. On the side of your fish, you've got uh, a puree with a ketchup, with a mushroom ketchup. Well, she was the first ketchup made in this country before the tomato. The, and the sauce we're going to pour from our piece on it, it's uh, made with Lancashire meat. But that's it. It's not good. It's called the company, it's called the Label Anglais. And I think the good chicken was as good as the best chicken we got in France. With, uh, like I said yesterday, with a rate at uh, another price. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath, you've got the first English piece with ginger and pink grapefruit. I'm not going to tell you what is it. The idea of it is you mix the flavor together and try to find out. It should be quite easy in a way.